Yes, Avon Cardon here. Just got back from the gym and uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Got my uh, favorite sandwich with uh, hash browns as usual. Um, just want to give you a little quick injury update. Um, quad feeling still a little bit sore, but uh, definitely better. Oh, here's one of my other cats. This is Jasper. Hey, Jasper. Um, so, yeah, not all better, but I think I should be like 95% on um, deadlifts next time on uh, Thursday. So I just wanted to show you guys today how I uh, do my warm up for bench. Um, I do a little, some shoulder exercises, some foam rolling. I do the uh, foam rolling on um, deadlifts too, but I don't do the uh, shoulder exercises. So obviously I have pretty bad uh, thoracic mobility. You know, you guys are always like, oh, why don't you arch? You know, guys, I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. Not uh, not one of my strengths, guys. I'm just, just really strong. But um, anyway, bench was feeling pretty good today. Um, 330 for three. That's uh, the best I've done in a while, honestly. You know, maybe uh, the cycle's starting to kick in. Been on about uh, 10 days or so, but not PR territory. But uh, hopefully we'll get there soon. Body weight's a little up, about uh, 225. I'm going to try to voice over some of these clips too. And as always, guys, uh, make sure you get your testosterone and uh, other health markers checked with sponsor Let's Get Checked. The link is in the uh, description. I did a whole video on that if you are interested. All right, guys, so that's really it. We are out. Hey, guys, so the first thing I do with the foam roller is I work on my lower back. Um, obviously, my erectors are a focus. Then I work my way up, my mid back, and my upper back, sort of working on my thoracic mobility. That's what I'm doing here. Um, obviously, a weakness for me why I'm doing it, and pretty important on bench press. Then I go on my side and work on each erector individually. Again, just loosening things up. Not that important for bench. So here I'm working on my abductors. I can feel the torn quad too, but it is more abductor related than a quad, getting uh, blood into the muscles. So the next thing is some uh, band pull-aparts, obviously for the shoulder, and helps loosen my pecs up so I don't uh, tear anything. So I don't really know what you'd call these, but I just take some, you know, two and a half pound weights and just sort of loosen my shoulders up, as you can see. So I start with two and a half pounds, and then I put them together. So it's five pounds for each arm and just sort of rotate my shoulders like that in and out up and down um so yeah you get the point so finally go to the barbell um i generally like to start with the bar again just to loosen things up i don't actually you know have to warm up with that light of weight obviously just because i like to finally put some weight on there up to 135 again nice and controlled just loosening things up and trying to get warm 225 here again same thing just a couple reps um, again no reason no reason to do multiple 275 here um, again you can see the setup I start with my feet on the bench um, then I put my Feet behind me, I wish I could get them back further, but you know, when I get tight, and just uh, go from there. Again, warm up, not too hard. And uh, 315 here, that is my last warm up, as you can see. Not too tough. This is my top set, 330 for three, the most I've done for a while. Pretty happy with this, um, you know, just didn't feel like I needed a spotter for it, so. Okay, we're getting back there. And then did a couple down sets with 315 for triples. Again, nothing too out of the ordinary there. I like to do the same down set rep range that I do on my top set. Yeah, and move on to some incline dumbbells. I think the 80s here. I just do one set to, you know, get to used to the motor pattern and make sure the uh, the incline is where I want it. Just a few reps, get used to the, uh, you know, changing the exercise. 
in here is my uh, top set of this is uh, the 110s for eight. Um, I haven't been doing these all that much, just trying to get back into it. Again, I'm fatigued here. I said, believe my best fresh is 140s for five. Did a little shoulder press. I know I'm not locking out fully here. Um, put some pressure on my back. I have done 230 with a full lockout before. And just finished up with uh, some single arm tricep extensions. Triceps are definitely a weakness for me and my right arm is definitely stronger than my left. So that's really it for today's workout, guys. Um, let me know if you like these voiceovers or not. And I'll get back to you next time with some deadlifts, hopefully.